there's so many robots. You know, robots underpin so much of our lives. You know, they're almost invisible, but actually everything from making cars to packing food, a, a huge range of, of jobs uh, are, are carried out by robots. They often tend to look quite functional, however. But what we're interested in is the robots that tend to look human or, you know, or like, behave in lifelike ways. There's a big debate about, you know, do we want a robot which is absolutely lifelike, like, like Kodomoid here, or do we want something like Robothespin, which is, which is very obviously a robot. Different people or different cultures are, are, um, are comfortable with it in different ways. So actually in the West, we prefer things generally to look quite robotic, so it's obvious that it's a robot. But in Japan, for example, there's a very, very long tradition of animism. You know, they imbue life to, to objects in all sorts of different ways, and they're much happier with something which to us looks a bit uncanny. But, but for Japanese guys, like, yeah, why would we not build a robot like this? So it's an ongoing thing, you know, what are we comfortable with? One of the robots which I, I was really glad we got, and it took, you know, four years of, of negotiating and asking and asking and asking, was a robot called Pepper, built by SoftBank Robotics. Uh, but, but what Pepper does, it, it's designed really not as a, a sort of domestic helper, but as a sort of companion. And, and it's quite remarkable. I mean, we went to see Pepper, in, in, we went to Paris, and uh, we went into this atelier where, where, where they were showing off Pepper, and Pepper just walked up to you and goes, Salut! And you're like, <gasps> and no other robot had done that. Still watching? Perfect. Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.